Welcome back, guys. I'm going to start this episode by explaining some of the mechanics uh, in detail because there's there are some people out there who just don't understand some of the fundamental mechanics of the game. And I've been having a right argument with somebody in the comments, uh, someone who shall remain nameless. No, they won't. His bloody name's Evgeny. Evgeny, for God's sake, I'm going to just show you that you're wrong. Okay? Right. He's been, t he's been saying, right, this line down here where I've got um, these trains waiting for a full load. And he's saying, oh, that's so inefficient. You're better off having your trains running. No, you're absolutely not. And I'm going to freaking absolutely totally prove it to you. Right. I've set up a little test track up here. Okay. And I have one train that is not moving right, on this line. And I have one train that is running backwards and forwards. Okay. Now, the game simulates using fuel. Right? It is not free to move. Okay? So a moving train costs a lot more than a train that's standing still. And that is why you are much better running with fuller loads. Okay? You make a lot more money. Right? If you now you some people will be out there going, Oh, it doesn't simulate fuel costs. Oh, yes, it freaking does, and I'll prove it to you. Now, I put these two trains onto these two lines at exactly the same time, and I've run them for, like, well, you'll see. Let's look at the finances. So, here, here's the line one, right? And here's line two. So, the first year, this one, just sitting here doing nothing, right, cost 114k. This one that's running backwards and forwards, burning fuel, right, cost 250k right and if you look at a full year so they ran for a full year in the second year this one cost 110k this one cost 273 so standing still they cost about a third of what they do moving right so running trains empty or partially empty right is not efficient okay you want to try and get full loads Okay, now the second part of his argument was, oh, well, you keep saying frequency is king, right? So it's important to, to keep the trains moving because that's what creates demand for the, for the towns. Okay, no, it's not. Maybe I need to be clearer about this. When you're delivering uh, resources, so for example, when we're delivering oil to a processing plant, so an oil refinery, right, then... Frequency is really important. And we're talking freight. Passengers is different. With passengers, yeah, it's all about the frequency, right? Whether it's uh, trains, uh, boats, airplanes, whatever. Frequency is king, okay? When you're talking freight, right, the reason that you want frequency is because you want a constant supply of the product. If the, if the if the refinery isn't getting a constant supply of the product its production falls right and then when the product does arrive it takes time for that production to creep back up again right which is not good okay so you want constant frequency when you when you're running um, when you're delivering to a production plant right but once you have an end product like the fuel right then it doesn't matter okay demand in a town right, is constant, okay, so if we take Peace Haven, for example, Peace Haven is always demanding 73 oil, uh, 73 fuel, right, that doesn't change, I could increase the frequency on here, it's not going to change that number, okay, and the last part of his, uh, his argument was that he thinks that I should be running these trains, instead of having uh, two lines, so one that's delivering to Shepshed and one that's delivering to Peacehaven, that I should have one line that delivers to both Shepshed and Peacehaven. Okay. Let me explain why that is a horrendously, horribly bad idea. Okay. You've got a train, right? And it's got 30 fuel on board. Now, let's assume, for the sake of argument, that it's going to split it evenly between these, these two towns. So, that means <clears throat> that from... From this station to here, it's going to be running full. That's good. Being full is good. Then, running from Shepshed up to here, it's only going to be 50% full, right? Now, that's not good. And then, running back, it's going to be empty, okay? So, 
That's not good. That's not good. It means that one of these trains is going to be like... It's only going to have 50% of a load all the way up here, and it's going to have nothing all the way back. Right? At least the way that I've got it set up, the trains are full, right? 50% of the journey, right? So a Shepshed train is full going up, empty coming back. A Peacehaven train is full going all the way to Peacehaven and empty coming back, right? So my train setup is way more profitable than what Evgeny is suggesting, okay? But having said that, right, um, I'm actually going to change this because um, I'm going to want to run more trains on this line because we're going to run, want to run more products. So I'm still going to have the same kind of setup because I'm going to have multiple lines going into these stations and we're probably going to end up with multiple incoming tracks. But um, we're going to change this slightly. It's still going to have the same basic thing. We're still going to be running full 50% of the time, right? Uh, up to Shepshed and up to Peacehaven. But, um, but it's going to allow us to have more capacity at the station. So... You want to see it? Let's do it. Okay, so I've rewound it to the where we were at the end of the last episode, uh, plus about a year, and I've been putting uh, I've been putting ships onto onto this route to absolutely well, onto the B route, this one, uh, to uh, to max that out. And I've actually just added if I, if I I've actually just added seven ships which are going to be going into this terminal here. I've actually like gone back along the line and counted how many ships uh, are coming in on the one route. The other route, the other route's empty at the moment. Uh, and we needed seven ships to plug the gap. So this, this line is now, as far as ships, is going to be at maximum capacity. What we need to do now is make sure that we're, we're actually producing enough to fill the capacity of the ships so that we make tons of cash. Now, I'm going to pause it because before before I go and tamper with this line, there's one thing that I want to address. Now, the this oil well and this uh, this refinery, which are the which are the B's, so the B oil refinery and the B oil well. Um, if we let that run like on and on and on for a while, it's going to go up and down a bit because we've got like um, like tons of oil coming in and it's going to bounce around a little bit. But if we let that run and run and run, it's going to end up at around the 450 level, right? Why is it going to end up around the 450 level? Because, uh, well, it's going to end up around the 435 level because that's how much potential we've got. That's the potential customers. And that's, it, as long as your lines have the capacity to ship that amount reliably, that's what you'll get up to, okay? So, 435. Now, like, how can I prove that to you? Well, if we go to the A refinery, and look at uh, what's our potential over here. Oh, look at that. It's 372. And how much are we producing? Uh, we're producing 372. How much is the oil well producing? Um, 368, right? That has balanced out, right, because I've had the, the capacity. I haven't had the capacity on here. Uh, because I've got the capacity to ship it, right, we're at max. And the max is determined by the potential customers, right? So there you go, boom. So this one's gonna get up to about um, about 450. Um, this one, we want this actually producing more, right? We want we want more on this because if we look at the lines, well, that's not the right one. Uh, if we look at the lines and see where are we making money, right? The A line isn't making as much, right? Because we're not we're not fulfilling the capacity of the line, right? So we need to do that. So we're going to do that. We're going to increase the capacity. Uh, sorry, increase the demand. Okay. So this 372 number, we're going to increase that. Well, how are we going to increase that? The only way that you increase that is having more uh, more customers to deliver to. It's got nothing to do with frequency or any of the nonsense that people are talking about. It's just having more customers that you can deliver to. Right. So now I could connect to another town, for example, but um, Right now, I'm not actually f giving full coverage to the towns that I am delivering to. So, for example, Shepshed. Let's have a look at Shepshed. Right? If we look at Shepshed. Okay, so here's, the in here's all the industry. All the yellow buildings are the industry. Right? How much of that are we actually covering? How much are we delivering to? And the answer is, not all of it. Right? There's, there's a bunch of buildings that we're not delivering to. 
right? So those buildings are not included in the uh, in in this potential number over here. Okay, so we want to cover those, right? Let me turn uh, bus stops on so that we can see. Now, where am I going to deliver to? Um, now I put I put a stop in over there, and I've got a stop in over here. And actual fact, I think I want to stop like roughly in the middle of those two. So, so we're going to do that. So, what do I want? I want a bus stop, and I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to get rid of these two first. So, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one, and get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Right, where's my bus stops? Right, let's put let's put the bus stops kind of. I think I think kind of there-ish. For now, yeah. Boom. And boom. Okay. So that gives us coverage of all the current yellow buildings. Now, obviously, we need to keep up with that as it goes on. Right. Um, ba -da -bum -bum. So what we need to do is we need some trucks. So let's get a depot going. So we'll crank up a depot over here. Let's put it a little bit out of town. Uh, let's flip you around a little bit so that you're kind of more, more level. And uh, we'll put you there. How many trucks do I want delivering out to there? Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to start off with about six. So horse carts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, oh, I need to set up a line first. So do, 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 do. Line running from... Which one should we go? Let's go from this one. So this one to there. Okay, so you are going to go on line one. Boom. Thank you very much. Uh, do, 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 do. So, right, that's set up. That is going to increase our potential. That's 372 is going to go. Like, as soon as one of these trucks gets down here, right, uh, to, to activate this line, this will detect that this line is active, realise that there's more people it can deliver to, and that number will go up, right? That's how it works. So, this is going to be uh, RF, road freight, uh, ship shed fuel. Boom. This is these are probably going to end up being general purpose, but for, for, for the time being, it's fuel. Right, uh, and then I want to name this. So this is going to be ship shed truck station, and it's Arthur Road. Right, there we go. Right, that's all set up now. So that is ship shed. Now we need to do the same thing up at Peacehaven because if we look at Peacehaven. Right, I didn't put any trucks delivering up here, right? And if we look, look, we're not covering the whole town. So we're probably only getting like 50% of the demand, right? Now the demand up here is 76. So yeah, in fact, we're probably, that's, yeah, we're probably getting 47 of the 76, right? Just because we, we're, we're not, we can't deliver to these other ones, right? So let's do the same thing. So get rid of you. Now, that stops a bit far up there. I mean, later on, that might be a good place to deliver to. So I, I'm going to leave that stop in. I'm not going to delete it, but I'm going to put a stop in probably, I, I guess, like here, I think, because then they can loop around there. That Yeah, that would work. Um, I mean, I suppose, well, I want to get this one. So maybe, maybe here, maybe over here. Let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. This is getting fun. This is this is getting really, really seriously fun. Right. So, right. So there does inc incorporate that. Ooh. I, I think maybe we want to come a bit further over. Ooh. That's kind of interesting. Um, either that or go for. I, what about if I, if I go further up here? Nah. We need to come further across. So I guess. I guess we're going. Well, I come over there, maybe. It's kind of a long way. We'll have to put a lot of trucks on. But, like, if this decides to expand out here, then this will give us good coverage. So, what the hell? It's, it's just a few wagons. So, let's bang that on there. We need some, uh, some wagons. So, let's get a depot. Depot. Flip you around a little bit. Straighten you up. Let's pop you in about there. We'll do nicely. By road vehicles. Now, for this, because it's a longer journey up here, we'll put uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And set line all. Uh, oh, I haven't put the line in, have I? That would be a good plan, Sky, you moron. Right, so we want to go from here to here. Right, 
set line all, line one. So this becomes RF Peace Haven uh, with an N, Peace Haven Fuel, and it's a road. Uh, no, 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 that's for the station. There we go. Then I want to change the name. Oh, well, I didn't want to do that. God damn, all over the place today. Right, this. God, I got so heated. I got so heated with that argument. Um, <laughs> what am I there? Oh, I'm renaming this. Right, this should be Peace Haven Truck Station. Truck Station. And that is a road. Boom. Okay, so let's see. If we look at this, if we assume that we're delivering... The, so so that's going to give us like an extra, what, 29, right? And then a uh, ship shed, that's, uh, we are, we'll be delivering most. So, yeah, it's going to give us an extra 10. So so we, what are we looking at? But about an extra 40. Now, that may not seem like a lot, but if we look at the A oil refinery and look at the... So 372, well an extra 40 takes us up to like 410, right, which is much better. Right, let's go and do Eastbourne and Biggleswake, because both of those need extra coverage as well. So this, look, we're not covering these ones here. How much are we shipping up here? Let's have a look. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to click on Eastbourne. So yeah, there's another 15 there we could be getting, right? So um, does that cover it? Yeah, that covers it. I, to be honest, I think it'd be, like, it'd be better over like there. But yeah, we'll live with that for now, and I'll change it when when it starts to spread a bit. So um, so yeah, we'll go with that. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Set the lineup first, Sky. It's always a good plan. Boom, boom. Right, I need some wagons, which we'll put over here. So grab a depot, flip you around. Don't fuss too much, bum, and buy road vehicles. That's that's not a very long route at all. Buy road vehicles. Let's put in one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be enough. Set line or because we're only covering a few buildings. So uh, put them on line one. Line one needs to be renamed. RF. Um, where is this? <laughs> uh, this is Eastbourne, isn't it? Eastbourne. Uh, and that's it. RF Eastbourne fuel. Boom. So that's that one done. And then if we whiz over here, I'm gonna need another line and then I can get rid of that line manager. If we go over to Biggleswade, which is just such a cool name. I love Biggleswade. Because I love Biggles. I mean, who doesn't love Biggles? Right, so how much are we covering? Oh, actually, we're, we're covering almost all of it. It's only a couple of buildings over here that we're not covering. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna bother with that one until it expands a bit more. Nah, that's fine. So, so the one time I create a line, I don't need it. So, um, should we dispense with that? Is there anywhere else that I want to cover? So we've covered those two. Wellington, how are we doing in Wellington? Have we got coverage in Wellington? It's expanded up here, so I'm, I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, we're covering everything in Wellington. Uh, Sedberg. We've got coverage in Sedberg. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So Sedberg's covered. Where else? There, Ashton. Um, yeah, because we're delivering up here. Ashton's definitely covered. So is Ashby. Um, Chicksbury, I haven't put the trains in yet, so that's fine. Uh, Tavistock, we haven't hooked up, so that's fine. Okay, right. So we've increased it by about, what, um, 50 and... Yeah, we increased it by something like about 55. So this, in theory, right, if I'm right, then this should go up to about 420-ish. Okay, should we find out? Should we find out if I'm like right or if I'm actually full of horseshit? Um, <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> this is where we find out. So, uh, is there anything else I want to do? Um, you know, I'm going to do this before I tamper with this line, right? I'm going to do this. So let's let's actually run the darn thing on, right? And we'll see what happens. So. Oh, all of our trucks streaming out the posh horses. Yes, we've just had a fresh dose of amphetamines and we're, we're on top form. We've got brand new trucks. We're racing along. Thank you very much. And we're in a very good mood. So the um, the juiced up posh horses are going to be doing an awesome run. So let's see. Oh, look at this. Ha 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 ha. Our demand's gone up. Well, what a freaking surprise. 
Right. Let's go up to Peace Haven. Yeah. And this is going to go up. Yeah. It's still going up. What did I say? I said about four. Uh, what did I say about four fifteen, something like that. This should get up to. Plus any growth that happens in the meantime, of course. So up four twelve. So there you go. Right. Am I full of crap? No, I'm not. I actually know what I'm talking about. Okay. So now that we've bumped that up a little bit, right? That means that we'll produce more here. Right. These will start increasing production to match this. And you can see it's already starting to go up. We're already up to 390, 394. And that will go up to match this number, assuming that we're providing enough oil. But the oil well will also increase. So the oil wells, where's, so the A oil well is up th at 376. The refinery is up to 400. Now that feeds back into this. So the demand here at the oil well will go up to match this. Now it lags behind a little bit. Right, this is up to 417. I said 415, didn't I? So we've obviously had a, well, that was close, 421. Sweet. So the potential here is going to go up to match this number, right? Which is going to increase the production here. And you can see the production is going up. Ticks up quite slowly. And that is going to translate to more fuel on our boats which is going to translate into more profits. Freaking awesome. Okay, so what are we going to do next then? Well, um, we want even more. We want even more going on here. Now, I, I could do it through growth. So, for example, I was really th I was thinking about putting in a, a passenger train between East ba Eastbourne and Biggleswade to, uh, to, so that the towns would grow a bit more. Towns grow from two things. One, being supplied with goods, and two... Passenger, tra uh, in, uh, passenger transport. Both of those things affect growth. Um, and passenger transport is the bigger one. So I could put in a passenger transport and start to grow these towns. But I think probably we'd get a better bang for our buck at the moment by hooking up to more towns. So um, that's where tampering with this line comes in. Because I could potentially extend out to uh, Cheshunt and Bognor Regis using this new technique. Like new technique, or a different way of doing it. It's efficiency-wise, it's exactly the same, but it just means we don't need so many platforms down here. I'll, I'll show you when we actually do it. I'm just trying to figure out whether I'd be better off doing the, the Shepshed Peacehaven or the Biggleswade and start delivering to Chudley. How big's Chud? Oh, you know what I should do. And people have asked me to show this, so this is a good thing. Uh, people wanted to see like what like. What's, the, what's going on with the towns and whatever? What are the biggest towns and are they growing and stuff like that? So let's sort them by, let's sort them by population. So uh, most of the biggest towns will be the ones that we're supplying to, right? So let's see. Uh, Eastbourne, Ashton, yes. Tewkesbury, yes. Biggleswade, yes. Settle, no. So that's a fairly big place that we could think about delivering to. West Ham, yes. Bognor Regis, no. So Bognor Regis is a good target. Uh, Peacehaven, Shepherd, Barking. Now, Barking would be a good one. Ooh, now, nah, right. Okay, this works beautifully. We're hooking up to Tav... We're, well, I want to do the Tavistock line. That would increase demand. It's increasing demand over here at the, um, at the B terminal, though. Um, but hooking up to uh, Barking as well, that would be a good plan. All right, you know what? We're going to do that one, and we're going to do Chudley, I think. Biggles Wade Chudley. What's the, ooh, what's this lot good? <laughs> That's pretty steep up there. Ah, oh, we'll get up there. We'll get up there. Right, should we do it? I think we should do it. Now, I'm just wondering, do I time lapse this? Now, you know what? This one I'm going to do. I'm a bit miffed with some of the comments about my time lapsing. People slagging off the music and stuff. Um, so, so I'm not going to time lapse it. I'm just going to build it. Right, uh, let's see. What are we doing over here? Where's the industry in Chudley? Oh, you would be over that freaking side, wouldn't you? Just to make life difficult for me. Yeah, all right, well, we'll, we'll put a station in somewhere over here. So, um, while, you know what? While I'm building, let's pause this, because otherwise otherwise stuff will get out of control. So we've got, we've got 216 fuel on the A1 line. I, mean, I should probably put another ship on the A1 line. 
We've got one coming in. Yeah, we need another ship on the A1 way. Uh, buy ships. Zoroaster. Buy. Set line all. A1. Cool. How's the B1 doing? Um, boom, boom, boom. Look, at, look at this. 740 oil weighted. Because the, the production is crazy here at the moment. It'll settle down. It'll, like I said, it'll settle down to about 450 eventually. Uh, do, 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 do. The B1, we've got no fuel waiting at the moment. Um, so I don't need to put any more ships on that. Right, cool. Right, let's get back to Chudley. Right. So, now you might think, oh, well, you're going to need to expand the platforms and, and put it in like I put it in last time. Yeah, no. No, no. This one is going to use the, the new method of doing this. So, um, I just want to go straight up there. So, if I put in a station somewhere over here, here. So, let's... Uh, -dum -bum -bum. If I put a road across there... Now you'll be able to listen to the, what, the way I witter on when I'm doing the, like, when I'm doing the time lapses. Um, uh, let's see. You know, what the hell? Let's use, let's use a large road. Uh, could you not? Yeah, no, I think I want to come across there, but I want it to be blooming straight. So let's put a piece in like that. Um, I'm actually going to trim this back a bit. Uh, let's get you and then hook you up with a large straight. Boom. I'm probably. Because I'm using a large street, I'd knock that. If I put in a large street, it'll knock that building down. Whereas if I hook it up with a medium street, it won't knock it down. Or oh, yeah, I shouldn't knock it down. No, it doesn't. There you go. So let's do that like that. So, train station. Now, uh, am, are we going to be going on from Chudley? Ooh, see now. See, I, I was going to do that over there, and I wasn't looking at the big picture. We're going to want to go on to Aspatria. So no, I need to put the freight station over here, and then I'm going to have to ship everything over there, which is a nuisance but well it is what it is just shut up and get on with it right good advice let's get a station uh i want a one of these freight station i want a through station yeah do i need an do i need to be angled we can't, uh, yeah, potentially potentially let's use a let's use one of these new sloped stations i did we use one in the last episode um so let's put you out here let's angle you down like what, 25? Uh, what, negative slope? Oh, look, that's almost flat. What about 30? Oh, look at that, flat. Flat to the ground, anyway. Alrighty. So, we're going to want um, two platforms. Cool, oh, dear, that's going to be fun down there. Alrighty, so I want to go up here, and I want to be aiming for about the midpoint up there. So I think we're going to need a bit of a curve on our station. Oh, now. Ha, oh, I can't have a curved sloped station. Alrighty. Well, in that case, let's put you in kind of like that. Alrighty. So we'll chop out a section of this road here. So we're going to go up here. I guess we're going to go this side. Now, I could route the road round the other side. So, and we want to come into there, don't we? So, let's, um, let's take that back. Let's, let's get this road out of the way. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to run that road round the other side, I think. Alrighty, cool. So, let's get some Let's get some track going. Where's my station? Here it is. Oh, this is going to be fun. Um, so we want to be going up kind of, sort of, like that-ish. Oh, man. Can we do it without a... We can do it without a tunnel. I do prefer doing it without tunnels. I know it costs a lot more, but it's kind of nicer doing it without tunnels. So, go on. And let's take you up to about there. Yeah. And then now let's see, we're going down to there, so 
Now, I'm thinking maybe we have a little tunnel. Oh, oh, you know what? That, a couple of little tunnels, I wouldn't object to. Ooh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, I like, I like it when you go into like a short tunnel and then there's a gap and then another tunnel. All right, we'll do that. Uh, where am I pointing at? Am I pointing in the right? Yeah, I'm pointing in the right direction. My God, impressive. Right, let's um, let's wacky down here and see like how it hooks up. So that's not bad there. Bit of a that's. It's kind of sort of bearable. I think we probably want to drop it down one, maybe. Whoops, that's... It's not happy with that. No, I guess I guess we're going to have to live with that. I mean, I could... I could do it in two sections, but I kind of like doing it in one section because you get a nice, really even gradient on the track. So we'll, we'll take that. Right, now all we've got to do is double track this puppy. So from there... Now, this probably isn't going to go through both tunnels, so let's do you up to there. Will you go through both tunnels? Oh my god, you will. That's impressive. And finish the double track. Oh, have I connected? I've done the wrong side, haven't I? Bunhead. Let's try that again. Do, 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 do. Let's take you back to about there. That'll be fine. Bring you into there, yeah, max speed. Finish the double track. Boom, alrighty. And that's where we're gonna leave it for this episode. So if you wanna see me finish this off and get it running and see the trains running and see if we can deliver some stuff, you'll have to come back for the next episode. I will catch you for that, hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.